and welcome to the SharePoint Framework and JavaScript Special Interest Group Biweekly Sync. It is April 9th, 2020. I am happy to be back uh, and excited to be with you all again. So we're going to step through these slides here. Uh, so we got our agenda, pretty standard from what we've had uh, in the past. So we'll get our latest updates on SharePoint Framework. We'll do our patterns and practices updates. And then we have three great demos coming to you from Alex, Hugo, and Robin. The first on a PNP list view uh, with fuel controls. The next on adaptive cards in SharePoint. And then uh, something that's very timely, a COVID info web part. Uh, so excited to see all three uh, of those demos. But first, a few things to go over. Uh, we often get asked opportunities to participate in SharePoint Framework uh, Special Interest Group, meaning this call, or the larger Patterns and Practices program overall. And the first and best way I love for people to participate is demo, demo, demo. Uh, I know all of you out there are working on really cool stuff for your customers, for your companies. Uh, if you can, uh, you know, if it's not a, a super secret internal thing and you'd like to demo it on this call, please reach out to myself or Vesa. We'll get you scheduled on a call, uh, an upcoming call. It might not be like the immediate next Next call. We sometimes are a little bit booked out, but we will get you booked. We will get you a slot. We'd love to have your demo on here. And that could be anything SPFX related, anything at PNP related. So PNPJS, the CLI, the controls, the Yeoman generator, or uh, we might add a bullet point here and we talk about it a little bit later in the call. But if you've submitted a new sample uh, to us as well, that makes a great demo uh, on the call. We'd love to have you show that off. So please just reach out. Uh, love to have you demo. It's a great way for all of us to learn about the very cool stuff uh, that folks are doing out there in the world. I know I always learn a little bit uh, you know, from each demo to see the different ways folks approach problems. So love, love, love the demos. Please reach out to us with those demos and we will get you a slot. You can also, of course, contribute across any and all of the Patterns and Practices offerings. Uh, we welcome your contributions uh, in the form of reporting issues. Is always a great place to start uh, if you've got uh, either a problem. We hope you don't, but if you do, please let us know so we can work on getting it fixed. Or an issue is appropriate if you have an idea for extending the functionality. Maybe we're missing something that would be very valuable. Uh, please do let us know that as well. You can always, of course, submit pull requests. So if you've got an idea for that new feature or something that's missing and you've got some time, absolutely welcome and encourage you to work on that and submit a pull request. Uh, would love uh, to get you contributing that way as well. And then of course, if you have time, help with issues and questions is always very much appreciated by everybody across all uh, the repos. That gets folks answers answers quicker than perhaps waiting for somebody from the quote unquote core team to come along and answer it. Uh, I know a lot of you have a lot of expertise. Uh, so if you can leverage that to help some others who are just getting started or just are stuck in a certain area, uh, that's great and really uh, appreciate seeing that across all of our repositories. I think folks are doing a great job supporting each other and that's very exciting and gratifying to see. And then finally, we always appreciate feedback uh, on everything we're doing. Um, on all our calls, on all our documentation. Uh, where can we help? What else can we do uh, to help you all be successful? Um, you know, and as well, positive feedback is okay too. Uh, if you like something we're doing, let us know that and we'll do our absolute best to, uh, you know, maybe do a little bit more of that or maybe uh, bring that, uh, you know, up to the fore, right? So uh, if, if you like a particular thing we're doing, love to hear about that and we can help push that. If you're wondering, uh, you know, how do I get started? Or you're a little bit confused, or maybe you want a little bit of guidance to help get started, uh, that makes sense. And we've got a new program on getting started uh, with GitHub and getting started with contributing. The Sharing is Caring program. You can find more information at that link, aka.ms sharing dash is dash caring. That's David Warner is uh, sort of, uh, I guess, hosting that or driving that. So love to see that. Uh, they've already had two or three meetings, uh, something like that, and they'll have some more in the future. So definitely check that out. Great way to get started and learn how to contribute uh, and how to get things uh, into GitHub if perhaps uh, that is new to you. We always want uh, new, new uh, contributors. So AKMS SPDev dash docs is your all up link to all the developer documentation around SharePoint. So that's uh, getting started as well as advanced features around modern SharePoint. But as also uh, if you've got, you know, you're doing uh, add in development or you're doing a uh, web part like uh, full trust code web part deployments on premises, that's uh, where your documentation is going to be. So definitely check that out. 
Uh, we've got all of our videos, spdev-videos, are up on YouTube. So that's the recordings of all of our different calls. We've got uh, different videos on uh, specific topics, authentication, uh, using PMPJS, using the CLI, uh, using provisioning. So uh, great resources to get started or learn more about uh, particular uh, PMP topics, as well as a lot of uh, fun topics like the uh, Dev Weekly calls to get caught up on what's going on each week. Uh, excited to see uh, that continue to grow and grow and grow. And I, I'm sure Vesa will probably mention uh, how our views uh, you know, keep climbing, which is really, uh, again, gratifying. And thank you to everybody that's checking out those videos. Uh, spdev-issues, that is a link to the issues for all uh, modern SharePoint stuff. So that's monitored uh, and run by the actual uh, SharePoint uh, product group with some help from folks in the community and love to see uh, – yeah, I should say I don't love to see the issues go in there when people have problems, but do meaning mean that I love to see get, things get reported so they can get tracked and fixed, right? Uh, and that's the way to do it is get uh, any issues you might be seeing into that issues list, uh, and they'll get triaged and uh, responded to uh, just as quickly as folks uh, have availability. Obviously, with lots of issues, uh, there's a little bit of an asymmetry between the number of people reporting things versus the number of people available to fix things. So that always creates a bit of a bottleneck, but everybody is working to do uh, their level best to resolve those issues. So please do keep uh, reporting things there. And then finally, we've got two organizations. Uh, GitHub.com slash SharePoint is the uh, sort of official Microsoft uh, repository, uh, more or less. Uh, that's We're still making some adjustments to kind of clean that up. Uh, but that'll be all the official Microsoft repositories. And then github.com slash PNP will be all of the uh, sort of open source community patterns and practices uh, repositories. So we're trying uh, slowly to create a real uh, a break there. So it's a little clearer to everybody in the community what is official Microsoft versus what is community supported PNP work. And that is uh, ongoing, but uh, we do, we're doing our best there. So please check that out. And we're on to a SharePoint framework update from VESA. Take it away, VESA. So, uh, just uh, thank you, like Patrick said, thank you everybody for subscribing on our YouTube channel. And we keep on evolving this channel uh, based on your input and your feedback and your suggestions. So, um, it, there's a lot of guidance already for Microsoft Teams development there. There's a growing amount of other stuff in the queue. Uh, and we have now surpassed uh, 15,000 subscribers. So, thank you for that one. I took to 15,280 uh, today. The lower statistics hasn't been actually updated, but it's more than 520,000 views in the last 365 days. So awesome. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Showing the interest on the material what we have. So that's really cool. Now, the, just a reminder on the, this week's, uh, thank you, Paul Pollock, um, um, having some feedback on this one or as well already on the chat. So we had the latest BMP Weekly going live uh, two days ago. No, Tuesday. Today is Thursday. Yes. Um, and we concentrate on the BMPJS, but many, many, many other things as well. So we talk about fast track, we talk about adaption, we talk about uh, open source. And so there's multiple interesting discussion points. And, and these are typically quite positive. So uh, we, we try to keep it as light and non-scripted uh, as, as, as we can. And they're definitely not scripted. So they, they're pretty free-flowing uh, sessions. Now, uh, moving on on things. Uh, this one went live uh, pretty recently, so announcing Microsoft 365 community docs. This isn't really around dev stuff, but I wanted to actually pinpoint this one because we released uh, this one yesterday using the SharePoint channel, SharePoint accounts. So basically, this is targeted to start you creating similar kind of an open source and community uh, way of thinking on the non-dev documents as we have for the for the dev documents as well. So a lot of the, the especially a lot of the SharePoint dev, uh, framework documentation uh, is generated and created and, and, and uh, well, changed and updated by the community. And well, what we're trying to do here is that to create a centralized location where a non-dev non -dev documentation uh, could be hosted as well. So people wouldn't just only block on their own blogs, they would actually get credits and they will get called out on a monthly summaries uh, and they can release their material in this non-dev uh, doc set which everybody can contribute as well. So let's see how that continues uh, and thank you Rolf as an example for being active in here and there was some edits and submissions from you on this set as well so thank you for that one. Uh, quick uh, update on the SPFX site not really 
too much uh, changes in here. Um, we are, well, we're not in a lockdown. We are moving, we are developing, but it's the development and everything has been significantly slowed down. Uh, the app source and SharePoint store support for SharePoint framework, we're actively now working on that one. Um, I can't give you an exact timeline for it, but we have some virtual announcements and conferences coming up uh, later this spring, which are, you can kind of guess that where we are targeting these things. Unified tool web tool chain working on that one. Native support for Fluid Framework probably won't happen this spring. It will happen slightly later. Fast you know, with more extensions. No ETA currently for 1.11 because of the current situation in the world. So we can't really commit on an exact date, uh, but we're trying to get stuff moving as fast as possible. But that's pretty much on, on all what I had. So let's move into the PMPJS side. Uh, so PMPJS V2, that is out. 2.0.4 is scheduled for to go out tomorrow. Uh, tons of great updates from the community while I was out on leave. Thank you to everybody uh, for the work there. That's very much appreciated. Uh, great to see, uh, come to, great to see coming back to all those pull requests. Got those all merged, uh, and then we've got a ton of great updates in as well, uh, driven by the issues folks submitted and suggestions uh, folks submitted. So again, thank you for all of that. Very much appreciate that. That's how we can really uh, know what is needed or know what needs to get worked on. So keep that feedback coming. Love it. Um, and then I just want to add a note, ever wonder on timing of when things will be released, uh, do check the milestones in the issues list. We do our best uh, to keep those up to date. Uh, so we'll have uh, obviously the next one for Friday, and then we'll have another release aiming for May 1st before I go out on the second part of my family leave. Uh, so we'll have another release uh, you know, with, with some of the other stuff that maybe didn't get caught in this first pass to the issues list or anything new that comes up between now and then. Uh, remember, uh, when you do submit issues, please do include as much uh, information in uh, the issue as possible. Remember, we can't see your screen or we can't see anything other than what you share with us or we don't know what you've been uh, working on. So the more you can tell us, the faster or better we can help you. And if we ask for a little bit more information, that's not us trying to be difficult. That's us trying to understand uh, and help you. So do please appreciate uh, or do please provide as much information as possible. We very much appreciate it, and it helps us uh, help you just as efficiently as we can. Still have a Getting Started with PMPJS V2 video series. That uh, production of that was, I guess, on hold while I was out. So we'll have uh, hopefully some more coming uh, very soon for that. So just thank you again for everybody for all the great work while I was out. Uh, very much appreciate seeing it. CLI updates. So released uh, a new preview version 2.9 with uh, status for Office 365 services, new Yammer usage reports, new sample scripts, and as well added support for retrieving the ID of the current tenant. So fantastic uh, to see all the work uh, from the community again, building out the CLI. Uh, have you tried the SPFX doctor command yet? I have not, so I'll have to check that out. Uh, do give that a shot and let us know. For folks uh, on the CLI, you can always install the latest beta from uh, npm install g at pmp slash office 365 dash CLI at next. Check that out. More information, aka.ms0365 CLI. There's a hashtag office 365 CLI on Twitter, gitter.im slash office 365 dash CLI. And then the docs are available again at that link, aka.ms0365 CLI. Certainly check out the CLI for all of your setup and maintenance needs around your environment, as well as uh, they're adding more and more reporting and great stuff around that. So check that out. Moving on to the reusable controls, there's two sets of reusable controls, one designed for the edit pane. So when you go into the edit mode of your web parts, provide a great out of the box experience there. Another set of controls designed around the uh, sort of view or the, the you know, content experience for your web parts and application customizers. So check that out. Uh, 117 on both of those is I believe the latest version and uh, lots of great stuff in there. Lots of great uh, enhancements again for from the work from all of you out there in the community. So thank you, thank you, thank you. Links there to the documentation around both. So the SP Dev FX property controls are the ones around the edit experience and then SP Dev FX controls react are the ones around the body or content controls of your web part. So check both of those out. Excited to see those continue to grow with uh, again, a lot of wonderful contributions from folks in the community. So very much appreciate that. 
uh, moving forward to the community yeoman generator. If you haven't checked out the yeoman generator, it is a great way to start uh, your SharePoint framework projects. Uh, it's got a lot of features that aren't in the out-of-the-box generator, but at the end of the day, you get from under uh, under the hood, you get a, a quote-unquote real SharePoint framework project with all the same core Microsoft dependencies uh, and code that you would expect from using the generator, but uh, it's got a lot more options as you do the setup. Uh, so if you are in an environment where you want to use uh, you know, Angular or uh, handlebars or things like that that aren't in the out-of-the-box generator, this is a great way to sort of use uh, this generator and be able to have a common uh, project set up across your projects or across your company or however you might be working. Um, so great to see this continue to grow from uh, lots of contributions in the community here as well. Excited to see that. Uh, and there's a Twitter account now specifically for the uh, SPFX generator. So P at PNP SPFX generator. So definitely check that out. Follow that for all the latest updates and uh, install the latest version via NPM, NPM install dash G at PNP slash generator dash SPFX. And then documentation, aka dot MS PNP generator. And then chat on Gitter, Gitter dot IM slash generator dash SPFX slash generator. Uh, excited to see that. And so with that, I'm going to pass things over, I believe, to Hugo for SPFX sample updates. Hugo, are you on the call and ready to go? All right. So over the last two weeks, we've been very busy with the samples. We've accepted a lot of pull requests. We've closed a lot of issues and gone through a cleanup. I apologize if you've been spammed with a lot of emails from me. Uh, so we have uh, two new extensions. Uh, one is the jump to folder extension, which allows you to actually navigate between large collections and SharePoint uh, library folders. That's uh, by Joel, and he will be demoing this in two weeks from now. We also have uh, from Sudarshan, we have a field attachment info information. That's an extension uh, that will actually look at the attachments field in a list and will actually give you a lot more information about the attachments than what's available out of the box. On the web parts side, uh, we have the Yammer Praise by Ramin, who will be demoing this in two weeks. It's a very cool demo. We also have uh, two demos that will be showing, uh, two web parts that we'll be showing today. One, which is by me, the Adaptive Cards host, so I won't talk about it. And uh, COVID-19 information by Robin, uh, who will be demoing that later. Uh, finally, we have a few more. Gary has the consuming SPFX service scopes using React hooks, which is something you saw, I believe, in the last call. Uh, so we have the code now for this. And then Marcus uh, updated his Outlook to Teams extension or uh, web part, which allows you to actually send metadata. And we have the security grid updated by Russell Go, who has added lots of cool stuff. Uh, and uh, I actually helped him make it more theme friendly. Both the uh, extensions and the web parts are open source repositories. You're welcome to contribute. If you're looking for a sample that you can't find, we've created a new issue type called the sample request. Feel free to go in there and uh, request a sample. Now, it's not a commitment from anybody that will be creating these samples for you, but it's certainly an opportunity for anyone who wants to contribute to actually uh, look for something to do. And in fact, if you're looking for something to do, uh, go to the issues and look for help wanted or good first issues. Uh, this is something that uh, you know will help you kind of come up with some ideas. And if you don't know how to get started with contributing, I recommend that you look into the Sharing is Caring initiative with David Warner. That's all I have for me today. Back to you. Awesome. Thank you for that. Uh, so we'll go right into the demos. Questions, throw them in the chat, uh, and we'll do our best to answer them. How many warrior horses does Chris have? I can't speak for Chris, but seven. Uh, let's go ahead and just close up uh, for today, and we will do our best uh, to patch things up and come to you next week uh, with a new call. So I want to thank everybody uh, for being here. I want to thank our presenters for being ready to go. Uh, unfortunate on failing with the uh, technical services, but uh, everybody have a great week. Have a great weekend, and we will all talk soon. So thanks all, and see you soon. Thank you.